Intuition is knowingness, knowingness. Intuition is knowing and inside of every human being is an ocean of all knowingness. And if a person could access that ocean, they would see that this uh, faculty of intuition would grow. And it's, it's the, I always say the number one tool of the artist, really the number one tool of anybody doing things is intuition. Intuition is used uh, in all the arts. It's um, kind of a flow of ideas. It's, it's a thing where you can see if something is not working and then see a way to make it work. It's a problem solver, intuition. For instance, in painting, Painting is, to me anyway, is kind of action and reaction. So you make an act, and uh, that, just that act that you make is based on some kind of idea. Oh, I'm gonna do this here. As soon as you do it, you, st you react to that. And if the ideas are flowing, ah, then you see the next thing to do. And you react to that, and the next thing to do comes. And it's, so it's a flow of ideas, and it works like this. If you don't have it, I don't see how you can go forward. So I think everybody has some intuition, but um, the whole idea is um, to get more and more and more of it. And that is what you know we were gonna talk about is, is um, this thing of meditation, transcendental meditation in particular, what I've been doing for 38 years is a way definitely to get more and more uh, intuition going. This technique of transcendental meditation turns the awareness within 180 degrees and one naturally dives through subtler levels of mind, subtler levels of intellect. At the border of intellect, you transcend you experience pure consciousness, infinite bliss, happiness. It's the most beautiful, profoundly beautiful experience. And every time you experience that eternal level, modern science is unified field. You infuse some of that. Whatever size ball of consciousness you had to begin with now begins to expand. You're expanding that consciousness. When you expand that ball of consciousness, now you can catch ideas at a deeper level. Expand it more, catch ideas at a deeper level. And you're making the subconscious conscious until one day the full potential of the human being is you have infinite consciousness, enlightenment. It's a real thing. It's not hocus pocus, anything strange, it's natural. Every human being has this full potential and you just need to unfold it. Unfold it by diving within, experiencing that you know, absolute, um, uh, the transcendent, the unified field, a totality, the self, all these names for this field, but it's one field. And tied to consciousness is intelligence, creativity, happiness, love, energy, and peace, all positive. You experience it, you infuse it, you begin to grow in that, and the side effect is negativity begins to lift away. And I say negativity like stress, anxiety, tension, sorrow, depression, hate, anger, and fear, the enemy for creativity. All this negativity, stress, it squeezes the tube of the ideas, the flow of ideas. It squeezes, it hurts us. It's a terrible thing. When these things start lifting, you work and live in more and more freedom. So ideas start flowing. you got more and more energy. People are so fatigued these days. There's so much stress. There's so much, you know, torment. You start doing this, you clean the machine and you bring in the gold. And it works first time, every time.
It is phenomenal. When I first got, you know, started meditating, before that, my first wife, I had so much anger inside myself, I would take it out on her. And so, um, two weeks after I start meditating, she comes to me and she said, what's going on? I say, what are you talking about? And she said, this anger, where did it go? Huge, huge blessing to her. I wasn't giving it to her anymore. It just, I didn't even realize it had gone. So common sense again tells you if all this anger and hate and fear and tension goes, relationships are going to improve incredibly. More and more happiness, more and more love comes, relationships are going to get really good. Everybody's afraid of dying. Yes, I'm afraid of dying. But it is a, like they say, a transition. Consciousness is a continuum. You leave off, you know, you'll take up where you left off. And it goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And there's really no end to it. You can get supreme enlightenment. And it's just, it's like you have the field of all possibilities. You are totality. They say you sit at the feet of the Lord. It's so beautiful. That's in our future. It just needs unfolding. It just needs unfolding. It'll, it'll look like um, the highest heaven. They say that um, toward unity consciousness, you, all the senses get more and more refined. So you, you, you see anything You'll, you'll perceive deeper and deeper levels of, of so-called reality, of the dimensions, right? You'll see deeper and deeper levels of everything until you perceive the celestial level. And then beyond the celestial is the, is the oneness. You, you'll, you'll be and see the oneness of everything, totality you'll have.